What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy with JMed's Brick Clicks. I have a few custom builds here that I got the instructions off rebrickable.com. Got an official Lego set and my own custom job on this little Lego backhoe. So let's take a look at each one individually and see what they are. If you guys want the instructions for all of them but this one, go to rebrickable.com and uh, search those names out. So the first one we'll look at here. This is a Caterpillar Challenger. It's like a micro scale minifig, or it's way below minifig scale. Um, I do have some lift arms on the back. Some kind of at least representation of one. Tracks move. They're very tight, and I think it's just because the tracks are brand new. So if I'd had it for a little bit longer time, I had to buy the tracks off BrickLink to get some tracks that fit. The ones I have are the bigger, the next size up from some sets that I got 20-something years ago. But anyway, yeah, it's a Challenger. And I think that is one I'm going to try to make into a minifig scale because I really like this design. I've got one tract tractor uh, that I made. It's a John Deere uh, was it 9570 RT tractor? And I think this one I'm going to make, it'll have a similar th look to it with the same kind of tread pattern using the chains, the clickable pieces for that rather than these rubberized ones, which I know I've had the same problem. I'm sure some of you have after 10, 20 years, sometimes they just dry rot and just break just sitting on a shelf. So they, yeah, anyway, Pretty cool little tractor. Um, you can see some of the pieces. They're just like perfectly placed on there to make it work. But yeah, that's a really nice little design. Next one up is a Swather. Now, if you saw one of my earlier videos a month or so, month or two ago, I made a minifig scale one of these in John Deere color scheme. But this one's a little tiny micro one. And I got these instructions off Rebrickable. I actually had to make some alterations to it yeah, as the, uh, the window or the side window piece or the yeah, mirrors fall off. Um, he uses the hands, black hands, for that, as you can see. So I'm just going to leave that off because I got to take the whole roof off to do it. I had to make some alterations to it because I think he only designed it in the software and didn't build an actual version. So the actual version didn't really work that well. Um, the front was four wide, not five wide, which you can see there. And trying to get those pieces there lined up, it uh, doesn't work. So I had to make my own corrections to it. So that's what I came up with. Other than that, everything else is exactly the same. I just had to redo the front end to it, but yeah. Raises up, lowers. It's a pretty cool little design. Okay. Next up, these were free instructions. I think those were free instructions too. I think that cost a dollar. Maybe two. I, you double check that. This one, we got our 9 Series tractor. Um, if you have something similar to this, John Deere Lego paired with John Deere and came out with an official Technic set. I think it's still on the market now. It's like 35 bucks in the U.S. When it came out for several months, it was 29 It does come with the trailer, but it's a Technic version. Um, I actually modified mine and bought two of them. Modified one, put tracks on it, and modified the cab to make it minifig scale. So I've got one with the original design and then one of my own custom kind of modification at this one works well you can pop this off so yeah just in real life just about if you're working on them have a massive problem they uh pivot from the center so that articulation is right in the center for steering uh, we got duels on all sides you see our rear end not too bad it's the front grille yeah, I got one tire that's a little loose on some of those Technic pins that are holding it together. But anyway, nice little addition to my collection. The thing that I have dubbed the worst designed official Lego tractor ever. <laughs> this came in a Lego magazine here in early 2023. 
And yeah, that is an official Lego set. I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, he doesn't know how to build anything. Well, it's not my design. But yeah, official Lego set. Only available in Europe since those magazines for some reason aren't sold in the U.S. Man, Lego's missing out on a huge market by not doing that with all the different themes. Maybe in the future. And this one, this is my own custom design. I just did a video on this pretty recently of a Lego custom backhoe. Got our lift arms. One of the things the new Lego backhoe doesn't have that uh, is on the market now, I think it's like a $20 set. It doesn't have a rear bucket, which is a huge miss, but it doesn't have outriggers either. So <laughs> I don't really know why. Lego needs to make a rear bucket piece, a small bucket piece, smaller than that for the back. If they're going to make anything like this or any excavators or any digging equipment for construction, they really need a new rear bucket design piece. Anyway, that's my own design. Totally my own design. Those are off rebrickable. And you guys know we got one more tractor to look at. It's a pretty big one. And I forget how much the instructions were. I want to say 5 or $7. Uh, I honestly, I can't remember. It was a little bit of a frustrating build because it is very, very fragile up here in the front. Those pieces are just like paneled on and you want to grab it right here, which is the worst possible thing to do. <laughs> so here's our John Deere tractor. Total articulation. We've got our front narrow wheels and you'll notice, yeah, the uh, steering wheel turns it. We'll just spin that wheel. <laughs> Uh, our grill piece. See our exhaust. That piece there is a pain to put on. And you can see how it's like lifted. And that's the designer's way of that. That's the way it's made. To have that little increase right there that that piece is on and have that ledge. I understand his design work. It's just if that piece falls off, you got to taste the whole side apart and put it back together. Which, like I said, is very frustrating. You can see... Those, those are on. Um, I need to fix my little, so we've got basically brakes, one on each side. Brake pedals, or maybe one's a clutch. So that's kind of neat. Got our lights, so those move in and out so you can get those perfectly lined up. We use the huge tires. These tires are only on the other big Lego Kloss tractor. Um, it came out, oh, it's probably been five years now. It's the biggest Lego tractor ever. And that's the only other tractor to use these huge tires. So that was nice to see that. I was really surprised at how big this ended up being. Um, you know, for as a minifigure. Yeah, so there's your scale. Just for a minifigure comparison. But anyway, uh, let's look at the inside kind of of the... Not much going on there. I think we could have used a couple bars or something for like the PTO. Or maybe a, a differential lock or something like that. Maybe a little bit more detail, but overall really, really good. Uh, those two pieces there, I don't have any of those. It's the very first time I'd ever seen this piece. Uh, that was nice to see that. So I might try to buy a couple more of those and incorporate that into my design. The back end is actually really cool. So we got our draw bar that we use to tow stuff. And if I can get this lined up, we got our PTO shaft that's actually attached to the one of the wheels. And is it this one? Yep, so you can see the PTO shaft moves with the tires. I think that was actually the original, way, way, way before this design, but that was the original design of when a PTO shaft would move, that's how they got it to move. It's probably back in like the, 20s and 30s maybe maybe 40s maybe as late as the 40s when tractors were like that where you had to be moving to actually have pto power uh, if you guys know let me know in the comments um i could look it up too but if you know offhand just let me know last time that was when that was dropped and they actually had engine power to the pto we do have lift arms which so we've got our two lift arms that's really cool 
So we got, we've got our inserts there, I guess for any kind of hydraulic pressure needed on any rear implement. But yeah, we, uh, my neighbors actually got three of these similar design. I mean, in real life, maybe not this exact replica model, but actually three narrow style John Deere narrow front tire tractors, um, that he uses. And he actually does tractor pulls professional, you know, he's, actually won a few championship trophies around the region, uh, Missouri, Illinois, Tennessee, Kentucky, Arkansas area. Um, he does that, whatever. I'm not sure the exact class that he's in for pulling, but yeah, this is uh, something he thought it was pretty cool. Like, yeah, I built your tractor. Well, it's not my tractor, but it's very similar, but yeah, it is really cool. So anyway, that's what I got for today, guys. Just this little tractor ensemble collection and my custom backhoe. And I just need to put this piece on. Oh, one last thing, <laughs> non-tractor stuff. This was a little set um, similar to this in the Lego magazine. It does come with a minifigure. I need to get that minifigure. It's a little roller. It's a nice little construction piece that might go on my Lego City. So if you guys are interested in that, look that up. Uh, I think it came out last year. I think 2022 is when this came out in the Lego Mag City magazine. And yep, if you missed my other little Star Wars video, I actually bought a Star Wars set. I don't have many. I'm not a Star Wars big fan collector, but I got a little poly bag. Yeah, it has nothing to do with this video, none whatsoever, but I'll throw it in here just to uh, get it in the video. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.